Hello everyone, this is Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorial. Happy Tuesday. And this is the three nails that we did last night. And it was last night's video was what's kind of fun. And we got to do three nails. Hi, Sarissa. And we did uh, three nail designs and we announced the winner of a custom press on glue on giveaways. And congratulations to all winners and all of you who participate and we can't wait to have everyone participate again next time for next contest um so tonight we're gonna do how are you sarisa hi debbie hi milani hey sweetie how are you thanks so much for tuning in and let me Send a quick note here, and then we can stop going live. Sorry for Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Oh, Sarisa, say hello. Hi, thank you so much. How are you, Sarisa? Hi, Dialects. Hello, how are you, Vanessa? Hi, Michelle. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, I'm sticking this on on it. So this is the sum of the nails I'm going to play um, for this live video. But this one, it was last night's live video. So if you miss it, you can always be watching them on our Facebook page. And uh, today we're going to do something fun. We're going to do everything with designers design. So a lot of you were asking questions for fusioning solid fusioning colors and then all the stickers um this is just fun that i playing earlier so i haven't put any crystal on it it was one of our chan Foy collection and i believe it would belong to its collections oh still let me grab that for you which one is a collection it has your nails on it can you find it Oh, right here. The number 31. I think that I have this little cute Chanel in here. Just playing a little bit, but just for fun. And okay, so, and then I have this little ones is like a solid fun color. So either you can do a 3Ds on this part or you can do it a uh, crystal placement of like um, make a mixed crystal placement. It's also cute as well. But I have four nails in white because I am going to share with you a really simple, easy, quick way to do is fusionings and solid colors, like really, really solid colors. So let's, um, hi Vicky. So let me put this one away because I did some, I. Pick some of the 4D light blush in this, you know, like uh, plates right here. So I'm gonna do some 3Ds on this one. Right here. Hi, money back. Hi, Icy. Hello, how are you? Hi, goodness. Hi, Foxy. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So let's. Um, play with 40 this one it was in one of videos I did it just basically I'm using this videos I am doing it for all of you who don't have chanfer foil gels and chanfer foil design we did all chanfer foil for the past two videos and this time we're doing it something with stickers if you own any of piece of stickers you can use that or if you have a fusioning but you don't have like chan for foil so you can absolutely do fun designs with this um so let's do some 3d first and then we're gonna move on to all fusioning because i have this nails is ready and i played with this earlier so then you can see that it's super easy quick simple and if you want to do 3d designs only you need to do is just like um pick smaller portions of your 40 and put in the here instead of you can doing it every time you can scoop it out but then you try not to like open it so many times you just like open it and I'll get enough and then I put it back in if you need it more you can always go back and like um, pick up more 40 gels 
So um, if the tool you need is, I have it right here, is my 3D brush. And is it the dual 3D brush, it's one end is for a silicone, especially designs really is good size for um, 3Ds. Uh, flower using 40 gels and then the other end is gonna be for 3d flowers flowers using lubricant powder so we are going to pick one and I did the stickers on first and I applied one layer of condensed wool gels really thin to encapsulating it so I'm gonna using it's really thin coat first and then cure for 60 seconds and then I am going to put this. I'm going to do it like, um, I'm thinking to doing like the crystal mega mix, but then I want to show you a 4D gel first, and then we can move on to a different one later. Okay. So I pick like same, beads or really a couple of them are smaller because I'm going to do a second layer and I'm going to just play with this and see how it's going to turn out for me there's so many different uh, way to do your 40 uh, there's so many different way to look for the flowers as well so let me see if I'm going to do this one how it's going to turn out for us you can do the other one in rows um, it's really easy you don't have to basically don't have to do it much Instagram Do that one and then you're using the body of your brush and basically paint it out. And this one is really cool. If you make some mistake, you can always take it off and do it over. You don't have to worry about it's gonna set on you because it's not gonna set. The smaller one. This is really cool, easy, simple for all of you who start playing with the 40 gels. And I mean, 3d flowers look and then 40 gels give you a really cool idea of you know how you can sculpting these flowers it's the most basic one It looks like, hold on, too bright for this, you can't see it. I think it just washed out. Can you see it? You good, just let go. There you go. And it's really cool, it's not too dry, it's not too wet, so then you can play with this. Like you can see, I can do go back and forth, but if you're using with the liquid and powders, it might, it might dry faster, or it might set, what well, just is gonna set um, really fast. And 
change. I might do a smaller one, so I'm just knit this one half off. Lisa Marie asked you, can you use this product on my natural nails? Uh, absolutely you can, but you have to have a gel, um, you have to apply the gel base on the top of your nail first, then you can apply this. If you feel this one is too big, I feel like I have this one a little bit too big for me. I'm gonna take it part of it and just get a smaller. You can absolutely do it on the natural nails, but this one will not. Um, adheres if you don't have a base gel you have to have a base gel first then you can do it on the natural nails basically using your arm it doesn't have to be with um liquid gunpowder you can just get the part of it this one This might be too close, but you don't want to do it too big. And you can see that basically I'm just using, this is really basic uh, flowers. And I'm just using the tips of my uh, 40 uh, door brush. You can do another one if you feel like. I'm doing really details because this is all tutorials for every one of you who is getting our 40 and is so interested in doing a different flowers. This is one type you can do. And it's super easy. I promise if you are doing the exact same, there's nothing much that you have to worry about. This is not, um, it's not gonna set like acrylic liquid and powder. So you can absolutely, really sit back and ensure that if you make a mistake you can always like redo them again which is you take it off you see that how I go and it's a little bit thicker and I just um, need to remove a little bit and I just want to make a And I did the strips, the gold strips, um, elastic strips, and earlier. Just move that on. And so if I click on that, and then grab me that, the pink piece of paper. I just want to give it a little swirls right there. Okay, I'm gonna cure this one for 30 seconds. If you want to do thinner, you can. You can do a little bit thicker. And again, it's not gonna dry until I cure it and it's tag free. So I don't have to put the top coat on it. Just cure this one. And just really simple, and I can do, yeah, you can do 60 seconds. And the same thing with this, you can do this cute flower simple.
I can do another one in a little bit when we're doing our fusion ink. Um, maybe we can do with honesty. And this is dark colors so because I want to do designs on it. Either that colors or I am going to do some like gold on it. Some gold or white or whatever. So I'm going to share with all of you. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to put some um, crystal on this one. So I want to, this video is for all of you who is have future names and like for instance if you don't have any uh, chance for foil gel so then that way you can able to uh, achieve the look hi monica hey janessie how are you love uh i saw vicky earlier no vicky there so I'm gonna just put a little bit of right here because I am going to do some crystals on that one. And also this one, I'm gonna just put just a little bit crystal here. And maybe right here. All right, I need to pay attention on this one because my hands is off the camera. Keep moving back. Okay, close this one. And now I'm applying the condensed wool gels. That's how you're gonna do it for your crystal placements. And I'm gonna using is no wipe top coat. This no white top coat will help me. Hold on, it's one second. I might want to put some beads on that. So just in case that you forgot to have the beads on, uh, I'm in the condensed wool gel, so I'm gonna using my precision glue right here. I dropped that it's over there. Sorry. And I just drop everything. And then this one as well. So we need to top coat this. And just in case I forget this. Why is this one that's always off? You have to keep moving your hand this way. There you go. Because he's trying to fix it and then now I'm going to that way. That's not good now. Okay, good. Yeah. No, I got this. But can you do any type of flower with this? Hold on. Um, should I? I'm gonna do some colors with this, okay? Uh, Live us or asking some questions I didn't follow with everyone yet, so I would answer all your questions.
This is really simple, easy for all of us, like who is really love nail art and then just starting with your um, 3D flowers. Just really simple and then you can just cure it. Also you can do if you want to do more, you can do beads on it. You can do so many, like so many with this. I can sit here and do all day with 4D gel because it's so easy to the point that if I make a mistake, I can't always like take it off. You can see me did earlier, I take, I remove part of it because I feel like it's a little bit thick. So you can control the portion, it's so easy. But uh, with liquid gun powder that you see me before, like you have to be really precise and then sometimes if you get a mistake, then you couldn't um, stop it. It's just gonna, have, it's gonna set. And then if you want, you can have to like fire it off and, and uh, fix it again. So it's just simple. All right, so I'm gonna cure this one for 60 seconds. This is simple as nails ever I got to do. But okay, go to the next one. This one is so super cute and simple as well. Um, I love everyone for the love and support. We Every time we're doing a live videos, we um, do it all from a, from a, you know, basics to advance. And also if you see something that you wanna see, uh, let us know if something that we haven't get done for you from IGTV Or if you have question you can always like let us know so then that's why we can direct you or send you the pictures or the video before we did it before And it something that you didn't see it and you want to see You absolutely Can't do the video for that all right, so I did playing with my this one is really cool, but I don't know if I want that. You know, what do you think? I should leave that one alone, should I? It's too much. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this off. My tweezer, everyone. I'm gonna put it right there. That's all I want, I think, otherwise I'm gonna cover everything. And you can't see all of them. So I'm using um, gel painting, but with precision brush. This one, I just playing with this only. Um, where is that at? Oh, I have it right here. Oh, I don't need it. Okay, so either this, you're gonna put one smallest crystals, or you can do is like a go beat. It depends on however you would like. But then I would think you can do silver. Silver looks cute because I did have a silver strips on it. So all of this, I just be doing it because I did that. You know, all different kind of techniques like that before. If you really want to see that from beginning, let me know so we can able to do that again for the next five videos. Um, I'm going to kill this one for uh, 60 seconds. And here's a gel painting that I'm using with a precision brush. Let me open it. It's really cool though. You can get really thin, you know, like strokes from this precise brush. So let's go in to do some precision glue on this one 
and the other ones come uh, being ready so we're gonna do a precision glue again well it's actually as I like this angles better I used to have to move on that side so just squeeze just a little bit and make sure they are like you feel any cracks gap between then you're gonna squeeze it in all right so cure this one for 60 seconds before that I'm gonna using my tin tip brush to make sure this not gonna be in like extra precision glue hanging there because when I cure it's gonna look lumpy so I am gonna blend it out and make sure they are stay good okay and the second ones we are going to do this little bit I am going to use my tin tip brush and blend it out okay thank you this one for 60 seconds So now we're gonna do is some funds with our make sure you don't lose this red cap because you needed it to prevent from clocking and spilling this is just really simple that I using uh, the 40 gels which is I'm using light blush and on the part of you know stickers this is for someone who don't have a chance for four gels or chance for four design so with the uh, stickers i'm using is solid lv louis so you can get that one and then playing the same i using this parts right here to place them up and this one is chanel's and this one actually is from the Chanfu Foy collection number 31. I'm using that one. Number 31. So great. Okay, so I am going to using uh hi CC. Uh no our 40 gels is not on Amazon yet. Okay, can I get this nail? And we're gonna do is, next you want to, what fusionings you want to see, I am going to do this one honestly. And I wanna do just one colors only. And then tell me, we have three more nails. So you tell me what you want to see. Like you want to see passionate, feeling blue, thinking green, which is yesterday. We did delight. Let me know. But I'm not using honesty. And I go back and forth there several times so then it makes sure that all pigments aren't good. But if you just want just lighter, just do it one time so you don't need to do all. And we need is crystal clear. Hi Whitney's. Hi Foxy. Live brass, just want to make sure I say hi. Hi, Maya. Um, CC. Oh, super cute bling nails. Hello, how are you? And now crystal clear. Just gonna. 
gonna blend this. Wipe it up on the piece of paper. I have it right down here with me because I didn't want to move it up there. It's hard for everybody to read the comments, so I moved it down a little bit. This again you can blend it again or you can just like finish it it's totally fine This is one colors for anyone who is working with one color fusioning. If you don't have other to play with, just one only. You can create a lot of fun look. And even those if you don't have like gel paintings or um, chanfer foil. So leave it alone like that. I am going to place some of my um, flicky foil. This one is for someone don't have a chanfer foil. You can do chanfer foil, you can do all different way. If this one is another. So before that, I'm gonna put some um, Louis in it. So which ones would you like? Silver probably is not. Silver looks good, not bad. Gold, <gasps> look at this gold. This gold is so rich. I can do go. Here we go. Let me see. I'm gonna using my Zecto knife, and you can do black and white. It looks cool though. But this one it looks good with um. I'm gonna cut just part of it right here, and using my tweezers. And let's see what else do we got right here. I probably want to get maybe I should get the um the strips to get separated and like it's more uh, defined. Using my this is videos is fun for everyone who doesn't have like chanfer foil. You can do this with a lot of different cool stickers. Right. Cut this piece. Do 
can you see it? It's just really so adhesive, so. my tweezers because it's on like one side and picked it up the others and I'm just using it to like give it a pressure so then they will stay right on the surface of the nails really cool and now I'm gonna using a different one Oop, I just put my um, hand with that and maybe I do this one This is for someone who loves the Louis and using can you see me working on it? So keep in mind you can also use this background for your white Louis, black Louis, silver Louis. I think they're all going to be so cool and stunning. So let's see what else we're going to get here. We get some uh, cherry, like I mean I think it's a flower cherry from... Yeah. You just lay it on the flat so that's why it does. Can I get my pink ones? Ah, just flying off on me. Okay. Can I get that? It's yeah. so sharp. You want know a different tissue? The pink, pink one I have. Okay. I think I got this. Okay, I'm gonna give up because I'm gonna have to keep pick it up because I should pick it up, but I didn't. That's the reason why. There you go. See, so you can just like pick it up. So that's it. I don't want any more. You can have it more if you would like to. I just want to keep this so I can put some foil on it. All right. So now we're gonna using some condensed wool gels. This is a video for all of you who is love the nail art, doing your clients, and your colonies don't have your chamfer foil or foil gels. This is something that 
you can do because I have a lot of questions asking for like doing like what if you don't have like all the gel painting and stuff I basically don't use any even the gel painting on this part at all you see you me see me doing veins and all different drawing on this um, so can you take this away so I have this little cute flaky foils here. This is not chamfer foil, this is a flaky foil. And then I'm just gentle, pick some of little pieces, sorry. Instagram, today is weird, it was set up. And I keep moving to where I usually have it. Just a little bit of your You can have a whole piece of it, so you can have a smaller, it really is up to you and your clients. I think it looks great either way. Or even if you don't want it, don't put anything on at all. Just leave it as it be, you know, as it is, and then it's going to look great. If you want some, like how you're going to put it. I just want really tiny little pieces of it. I don't even want it big. The golden touch is so well. Let me check on that for you. Uh, golden touch. Golden touch is back in the stock already, but uh, let us know if you can't still able to find it. Right, so if you're happy with this, we're gonna flash gear this one 30 seconds. Sorry everyone, I keep moving on this direction, I don't know why. Um, look at I have this little here. Okay, so we did one colors of fusionings already. Oh, my rat, do you don't see it by itself? Yeah, so just like us, just wait till after the live. We'll make sure it up there for you. Um, you don't see it by itself. So, uh, live us, I think if you click on the gel painting, and then it gives you an options of what you want. You can do single individual um, gel part, or you can do the set. So the next one we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna show you what fusioning you would like to see. Uh, we've done, done a lot with Chanfer for Gels um, Gel Collection. So this is a video to support a lot of you who have stickers, who doesn't have Chanfer Foy or uh, Chanfer Foy design yet. Um, this one, you can create so many different cool look without like have Chanfer Foy. So let's see so no top coat yet so now i'm gonna do it another layer because i put the flaky foil on it if thin enough you can get away with the top coat but i always apply the top coat um on the top of condensed gel to encapsulating it. it's perfect for the uh stickers so it won't have any lumpy bumpy at all so now if you don't want any crystal then you just apply one quart of condensed glue gel i have it right here on my size it's condensed glue gel thin layer you don't want to do too much to uh, get it like a flooding so condensed glue gels right here and i am going to apply no wipe top coat on the top there you go i have to remember it's right in the middle it's perfect right in the middle and then do you want to see some crystal, like one or two tiny little crystal, or you don't want at all? If you don't want to see crystal, I'll leave it alone as it is. If you want some crystal, I will show you how I place them without looking too busy. Well, I don't know when I'm gonna do nails less too busy. Just yeah, so you ask a sticker go on that top, a shiny top coat. Yep, it can do both on it. Okay, so you wanna see this look, how it's gonna go matte? Instead of the top, you're gonna do a mat on it. Like, um, video was video was the other days that we did. Uh, let me move this.
just on, on the side because it's getting on the block our views right there. So let's see. Just a little bit. You don't want too much in going on here. Pick some of your pistols. Hold on, did I put a top one on yet? I think I did. Doesn't make me like, wait a minute, I might forget. But it's okay, because if you, if I forget, everyone's will back me up. I don't want to do it more like I mean more on that part that's it you can put beads on it you don't want beads leave it alone it will look cute but if you put the beads you put it right between crystals look like a flowers And now we're gonna after we finish this, we're gonna cure this for 60 seconds. This is for all of you who don't have a lot of crystals, you who just start playing with all the stickers and then just get an idea. So this is the beautiful videos for you. Great. Okay, now we're gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Hold on one second. Great. Okay, so in under the lamp for about 60 seconds. All right, so let me read if anyone want to see what fusioning next we want to see I did honesty it doesn't look attractive I promise you when you do this you will love it because it's the pigment is so pigmented and it looks like so boring because it doesn't look bright like my uh, passionate fusion ink but it's I love this because it pigments so pigmented and then you can see that just few layer of you know when I apply it on is give me a so deep look if you're doing a lot of golden design that will be a great background really good doesn't matter in summertime summertime you can do some uh, neon crystals on you can using like even a brighter color acrylic if you're doing a, a color acrylic for the flowers or you can do a 40 for flowers so it's gonna be it's really cool and stunning as well so sometimes you look at a lot of stuff that you might afraid of, like the same with me. So I always like, oh, I don't think I like it because the color doesn't look attractive at all to me. But then, you know, we don't know until we try it. So I'm just going to do some uh, precision glue. It doesn't have much crystal here, but also it has um, beads, metal beads. So I'm going to make sure this metal beads is not going to catch on a client's hair. So I am going to blend it right here and give it a quick swipe and then here this nails for 60 seconds it will be completely done for us it's so much fun though Calming and delight. Do you want to see it separate? You need to do watermelon fusion look nails. Watermelon fusion look now. So we may have some green, some green, red. some red. We did have it. Super cute bling nails. We did it with um, video of last week, I think, a week before. We did all like fusionings with uh, fruit, all different fruit. So. Um, please take a look that on that IGTV in if you go into uh, episodes they have ep episodes of fusioning and you can look in that it's just like not too long just last week I think or week before and if you watch that and see is that exactly what you want to see for the um, fruit if not then we can you know doing something is cool as well all right so delight and calming Okay, I need the nails though. 
All right, so this nail is calming and delights. Here you go. This one is beautiful. Done. So we're gonna move on the sides. Okay, it's okay. We have 10 minutes, but we'll have another three hours after 10 minutes. So I do not care. Instagram keeps stopping us from learning. Ooh, Nancy get a little bit of attitude today. Just kidding. Because I said, what? 10 minutes? How can I do 10 nails in 10 minutes? It's okay if I do it with the clients at the salon, but especially doing um, tutorial sharing with you ladies, 10 minutes is not going to make any. <laughs> Hello, Mirandy. Hi, Whitney. Hey. If I miss anyone, hey, Keja. Just, I want to say hi to everyone, okay? What is, would be a good background for a reddish pink and orange butterfly stickers for some reason I having a hard time picking for myself uh, CC love I love you go into our IGTV and there was a session of fusionings or trendy stickers go into the trendy stickers you want to find all different backgrounds that I did with with variety of different color for as fusionings like if you have something is like marble ink or something similar like that you can do that I did a lot of um, reddish green yellows all cool fun things in there so uh, remember to check it out and if you don't see anything that exactly what you're looking for let me know okay so then we can do some other tutorial okay so what we're doing now passionate okay calming and delight I said wait a minute calming and delight all right here you go live as I'm gonna make sure white Mm. Serious sounds good. It's white. Where is it feeling blue? <gasps> oh, nope. Almost, almost. See, I'm in trouble because I opened one and I think I did the right one, but I opened the wrong one. So calming is lighter and then um, feeling blue is a little bit tougher. So again, two coat of two coat of my gel like white gel polish and then I will um, and I did is the matte top coat so here's a tip and tricks make sure uh, please make sure you going to apply the top coat which is a matte top coat like even if you're trying with the shiny top coat and buff it off, it's not going to work because it's not going to give you a great uh, grip of a surface like a matte top coat. So, and if you're doing it back and forth, you can do dogger as you prefer. It doesn't matter. You pick, um, I think it's good. I did like three times or whatever. And I got that girl power today. <laughs> it's just, it's Instagram can't stop us from learning. Delight? Separate or together? No. Do you want to see separate or you want to see it together? Um, nope. Platinum's a great question. Should I always begin a marble design with a white base? White base always the best for you to really like drawing and creates a lot of designs also you can do light pink but the white base will pull out the best because if you doing a three or more colors of fusionings in it it will blending it out naturally and it create a different um, background for you so which is that I really like um, yep so great Awesome, super cute bling nails for sharing with us. Okay, so now I'm gonna need this crystal clear. I'm showing it because I'm opening it. And we doing Hi Sarisa, thank you so much love for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. And I am going to using my crystal clear. All right, so I know that's gonna do fusioning what Nancy doing. 
uh, sometimes it feel like boring but this is support for all of you who get only one color of fusioning okay uh, or two color of fusioning so you not feeling like okay you have to have a whole collection to, in order to do a great job or beautiful looks no absolutely not you can do it only once so i'm doing it this video is for all of you who support any of you any nail tech who is just like trying one color of our products out and will um have only one product well i mean one color to to check it out test it out and this is a video is fun for you and it's for all of you um and thank you so much for tuning in today cc cc asked what if you don't have fusion ink what you don't have fusioning then you probably have uh chan for foy right so one of one, uh, one or the other so this so last week we did all chan for foy so i will be like imagining one who doesn't have um but okay so another option if you don't have a fusioning guess what you're gonna have either you're gonna have of your blossom gels and you also have why it looks so dark on the Instagram though? It's not. It's very bright. Right here. Um, either you have blossom gel. I'm gonna show you with marble look using a blossom gel, right? And if you don't have a blossom gel, then you have your chanfafoy. Okay, so if you don't have a chanfafoy, I will show you. I did it before with the uh, video of liquid and powder marble look. So. I will try to get you ladies as much as possible whatever you have I will share all uh, techniques I can so if not then we have to really like if you don't have fusioning or you have chance for voice or we have to like really working harder to get one side feet off like something that will fit everything, which is like create fusionings, uh, blossoms, something, something. Sarisa, I love the question. That's a, such a really challenge question. So why you lady challenge me today so hard? Like all of a sudden now I answer the question and say, that is really challenge questions. All right, so here's it's just fun, okay? It's just a uh, fun uh, facts, I think. I see a lot of people doing it like Shopee on online stuff. So it's good try. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but if anyone try it, I would love to hear that because it probably maybe turn out okay, but I don't know how that gonna work. Maybe I should. I should do videos one time doing um, Shopee nails versus two fusion inks. So we all can learn it together. I just blend it out more because I didn't want to get that too dark in there. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with this now? Looks good now. If you're not, then I'll keep continuing. But if good, then one minute. One minute. Mm -hmm. All right. So this one we're going to using our Louis maybe white, white live vest doing white. No, hold on. Silver, I'm sorry. Okay, okay so we're gonna be right back. Be back with me. Yes, don't enjoy me with more design. We'll be right back. This one is so stunning. Silver. Look like silver is not gonna stand out. Silver looks good on black one. I'm gonna do white one. Stand out. Do you have gold ready? Oh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna do this one then. 
or maybe it's Chanel's. Vicky, are you there? All right, Vicky, what should I do? Gucci, Prada's, I don't know which, which one you want to see. do in my chair blossom so Vicky are you there if you do something fun with this maybe some Chanel's maybe Gucci Sorry, uh, Facebook, I'm just waiting for Instagram. So that's why I was like trying to pick out some colors and we'll wait for Instagram so then we can join together. My cute tweezer. with all of everyone so then you all can decide which one you want to see of course you know what it's gonna look good with this one too um. hey Instagram Facebook YouTube it's gonna be later um, welcome back thank you so much for tuning back in and we are going to do in the second, third, fourth nail, I guess. Um, all right. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Amy. Super cute. Play nails. Hey, Sandra. Platinums, Foxy, hello Whitney, Riza, Carolyn, hello money back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And okay, continue part two. And let's see what we're going to do. Continue part two, and then we're done with this. This is for any of you who only have one color of fusioning, okay? So don't feel bad if you have one, because I love even doing one color. So we did the colors before. Um, we did the colors before. So many of the live tutorials we did with different episodes. Sometimes I get three or four colors. Some some of the fusionings um, designs I did up to like five or six colors of all different fusionings. It's like really blending well together. If you miss it, you'll find it on our IGTV under the episodes of fusion inks and also trendy stickers as well. So this is for someone who doesn't have any chanfer foils, chanfer foil gels, and you have some cute stickers, fun, simple, easy, and then you can do something like that. So this is the first, um, this one we did is the first one, and then we did the other ones. Well, this one I playing with the uh, 40 gels earlier, so you can see that. If you miss it, you can re-watching our IGTV. And this one we're using just the honesty colors. So you see that how it turned out really nice. I'm using on the top of the white base. And the next one, I use a white base again. And then this is the colors of uh, feeling, no, calming. I think it's calming. Calming. calming yes, okay. Point. So now we're gonna do, cause I really like all this. I don't know, we have a hard time to pick. So you want, which one do you wanna see? I have my cute cherry blossom as well. 
And we have a new cherry blossom as well. The other one is, looks cute though, huh? Want to see? Get me that cherry blossom there. Or you can using all white. Which one do you want to see? This one? Or you want this one? I feel like playing cough right now. Let me read. All right, if no one's asking for anything, uh, no one's asking or no one wanna see anything, maybe do this. Chanel. Make a di different. Look at this. I really wanna try this one on, but it's gonna be off our subjects. Wanna do it maybe tomorrow. Just wanna show you something is cool. Besides the cherry blossom, the white one. I did that video before. If you miss it, you can see it from our um, IGTV. It's under episodes of um, trendy stickers. It's have a lot of fun design with this. Um, this one is cute. Maybe we can do it in the next video. Mix the third flowers on here. Hold on. Sonia, did I miss something? Okay. So, hello everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in for our live tutorial. So, I'm gonna do this super cute one. And I believe this one glow in the dark. If not, then we still have a white colors. I believe that is glow in the dark one. I don't got it wrong. So, because the background is really cool and you can start um, adding any colors you want. Uh, I mean, any stickers you want and I'm selecting this cute chanel's right here my sticker oh cool I could like Let me do it right here. I don't care. I'll do it right in the middle. Using on the other end of our oh, hold on. There you go. Ooh, I like that. I got the um, I'm going to cut this one's for maybe this but you know what I am going to using one of my uh, white elastic strips right here really cool I have the white and the black ones so my new it collections I'm gonna use this one as well this is a fun video super easy simple for a lot of you who is don't have the chance before it, so bear with me take a little bit longer because I want to share from really beginning so you're gonna using this and just get on the tip of your tweezers. Okay, so now Instagram's off in a different direction now. So there you go. So Instagram, we in it and we had so. I'm gonna use my cute scissors. I love this if you are using this like one of um, scissors to cutting the tips and all different nail art. This guys is killing it. It's really worth that. Like not unlike any other scissors. All right, so.
this one I using my vector knife and cut it as well so it doesn't matter you can dress it up really is cool different way you would like And also you can do it part of it, my fusioning and on the metals is will be plain. It looks great as well. Trim this. Alright. My cute Chanel's right there. Maybe I should do in how the cute flowers in that, huh? Let me see what else do I get to offer you. Mama Chanel's number five. I might have another one, but it's probably right here. Right, I got it. So I want to use this one. This flowers. So I like this flowers. Maybe that. It's really fun, easy, and it's so flexible. And it's stay right in flat in the surface. And we can do crystal placement on that for a little bit if we any of you are interested in and like to see that okay so done with that one so we are going to do some crystal placements on this one I give some space so we can do our crystal placements and um, for a lot of you who are asking me and about our designer collections so I'm getting my stuff that I can show you okay it's right here right there oh god no more tray can I get the tray if not, then I have my jaw right there. And because she's in white, I can use that one. This is a designer collection. I'm really having fun with this. I don't know. I'm using this all the time. Never get tired with this. They give it really a fun look, but it doesn't look too too busy at all. Or maybe I'm too busy and I didn't know it. <laughs> it's okay. We only have one life to leave, so I do not care. If it doesn't look good, I care for you if you like it and like learn some things. But uh, it's so weird when it's just when I'm laying it down. It's like cook it like this. Okay. So I am going to, it's funny, sorry. I don't know, it's just goofy today. Okay, so now we're gonna use condensed glue gel. I've been using my condensed glue gel a lot. And it lasts a long time, just a little. Well, this is like almost the end of it, but you get it, you get like really a good full amount of it. So I am going to using condensed glue gel, uh, apply it on tie the nails. I don't think it like will that. be. Um, and just don't using too much. You see that? That is too much. Even though I pick up just a little bit. But because if you're using a flat back, you don't need a whole lot. Because a condensed glue gel and top coat will be really good enough layer of it. So you don't want to flood it all your crystals. So I'm going to blend it nicely. You can see that it's like really nice and flat on the nails. And then no wipe top coat on the top. 
and this one will go on right on the top of condensed glue gels which is unkeyed condensed glue gels you don't want to keel your condensed glue gel what you want to do it's right on the top Why is so difficult today? Maybe you just your hair. You're not used to be in the middle. But hey, I do care and I'm not gonna care. I'm still continue doing it. Well, what's that? Move your hand a lot. Hmm? Just kind of move your hand a lot. You see that how you can um, gain the positive attitudes by do not care what people say. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, but I do listen. No, he can say whatever he wants, but listen is my option. Just kidding, ladies, just don't be in trouble. But you see, I do not. Okay, now he's trying to move our stuff here, everyone. Okay, it's okay. I need someone in the middle of this blouse. Okay, sorry if I don't read your comments. I am going to just a little bit. Hold on. Can I get the. Um... It's okay. Foxy. <laughs> Thank you, Foxy. Love you all, ladies. He is a amazing support. Okay, great. So let me do this. I am choosing the silver beads right here because I have the metal art silver on the top of the C Chanel there. Alright. But if you can do gold, if you pick the other piece in gold, you change that to gold, okay? What you can do silver and gold is mix and match. It looks great as well. The same you're seeing a lot of people wearing stackable rings with rose gold and silver gold, um, uh, white gold and, um, and a yellow gold. I think it looks great either way. I was like interesting to see if it's like gold and silver together. Okay, I think I'm good. Otherwise, I'm gonna cut this off your fusionings and your cute stickers. This is a video for all of you who don't have like chant for voice or fancy stuff and everything. So fusioning and your stickers, here you go. We'll keep this gonna be for 60 seconds. And then we'll go back with our precision glue and this nails will be good. So then we can move into the next one. You know why I have two of this? Okay, so make sure it's not gonna get in our way. Okay, so that's this the nails, three of them we done so far with stunning, like all different simple stickers. So we have, why we still have three more nails? Just kidding. So two more nails. So what is that? Delights. Life us want to see delights. And then what other colors? Just those. I thought you were going to make a boat with that drive. <laughs> it's a could be cool idea. So super cute bling nails. I like that one. It's like the um, little purse with the uh, triangle stuff. That's somehow it's like off. Okay. Let me see, maybe we go. Hmm. All right, 
Okay, so precedent glue and then we'll move on to the next one. This one, if you're first time tuning in, welcome to our Gliss Accessory and Such Live tutorial brought to you. Absolutely, it's free from our team. And thank you so much for always supporting us. And we that's why we are here for you. And okay, so I'm going to seal into any cracks, gaps right here. If you're seeing it on the side, you can see a little bit as the um the little bit thicker of the nails so i am going to squeeze a little bit next time i'm using just a little bit squeeze in let me squeeze it out you can see it now right there but you don't need it now just only check it first before you squeeze it out so i'm going to cure it for uh 60 seconds before that i am going to use my tin tip brush and then blend it a little bit out to make sure it looks so nice and um, flawless. Great, so now we're gonna key it for 60 seconds. And that nail is gonna be done. Next one, another fusioning. Are you tired of fusioning yet? There are 12 colors, so any of you have one color, so you can really rock it with one color, I promise. You do not have to have 12 colors. If you have 12 colors, great. If you don't have it, don't feel like you have not enough. You have one color, you can absolutely rock that. And the colors will change. Like say, if you have one color and you're using on the top of your um, chromes, which is Brad did it today, it's really cool. Also, we have a lot of different uh, episodes on the fusioning. You can see some of fusioning on the top of um, chromes, hollow chromes, so you can see a lot of options to do. And... Um, the next colors will live us will asking would delight by itself. Um, I did honesty, which is this one, is freaking stunning. I'm never at first when I saw that colors, I swear with you, it wasn't really attracted me at all. I said, oh, that looks so boring color because I like bright colors. But when I start working with this and play with this I and see how much I appreciate it of really good pigment it's bring it to me so when I create a lot of different cool like even on that one if you don't do like a stickers on imagine it using like of 3d gels or 3d flowers or 40 gels on this one it's gonna really stand out it's like especially white colors or creams or uh, pink colors so that is honesty it doesn't look attractive at all it looks like but it does amazing work for us. Uh, lighter shade than that, it was a welcome hugs. Which one did we do it yesterday? All right, so. Hey, nail techs, hey love, how are you? Uh, absolutely, uh, live class, you see me did uh, clear nails with the fusioning, especially you see me do clear nails in this. This is a clear nails, remember? Live class, I did this one all in clear nails. But before you do clear nails, love, make sure you do a matte top coat. So it doesn't matter, clear nail colors, whites, any colors you're doing on before you're doing a fusioning, you make sure you put the matte top coat first. Uh, none white, like no white matte matte top coat so it will help to grief your um and then catching your fusioning pigments the best uh than you know like if you have the top coat and you buff it off so you want to put this on first hi tammy hey how are you okay so Hi, loving nails. I wonder how are you? You didn't miss it much. We did like few of them. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. Delight. Next colors, we're going to delight. So if any of you or have this, or any of you have one color, or so two color, few colors, you let me know. Uh, don't hesitate to ask us this one. It's the third one, and we're going to the fourth one as well. Delight. And this is the white nails already, and I am um, applying two coat of the white. And here, finish with the matte top coat. Here, 60 seconds. 
This one's so nice and vibrant. I just want to show you that it's really a key looks of one color of fusion inks. If you have one, that is your color is gonna rock right there. And then we're gonna wait for it to set. So you can see that it starts shiny and it's getting matte. It's basically is a alcohol base, so it's really like dry fast. It, and only I need is crystal clear. And I don't need even any of the um, brush or anything at all. Hey, thanks so much, Debbie. So crystal clear, make sure you crystal clear. Like the wipe off your brush to the point you don't have much in there. You don't want to have it saturate to the point it's gonna bleeding your fusion inks. Give it a tap. And blend it. I usually blend it from the outside in but you can do several different techniques however you would like i think it's going to turn out great as well How's everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. I can't believe it's Tuesday already. Hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I know sometimes I'm busy. I didn't get to read all the comments like don't kill me because I sometimes I look it up and then I'll see all whole entire the conversion that is missing. I feel like I'm jumping in but I just like don't know what I miss so but also you know how to get hold of us if you have further question okay hold on I need to turn it off the light because it looks like it blo um is bleaching out hold on let me see can you see it this is so vibrant colors so I put it right here, it looks better. Great. This is, you can create the veins really cool and super easy. Gold. Gold. Um, and then we're gonna do some gold with that as well. Okay. But before that, do you want what do you wanna see with this? Any stickers that you wanna see with today? Uh, I'm going to like designer stickers today. Okay. We can do that one or we can do the... Okay, let me do that one then. Crystals. Black. Okay, CC. Yeah, he will say black too. That's one is good. I'm going to do this. All right, my love, I am going to do that right there. If I want to do some stick stickers, I want to have my as well. I get the biggest one to make the money worth, right? Like, get the biggest blues possible. Right in the middle. You can do it in the top if you want to. Hold 
کارها داره کرد اندازه My tweezers has something on the bottom So what? I'll put some crystal on the top of it Just kidding Okay, so I'm gonna get my cute circle Maze right there I swear with you, you walk on the blinds now. It's so much easier. But okay, I'm enjoying either way. I think it's my trees will get something on it. Um, next, I want to do another. Should I do another line of this? I'm gonna cut that first because I'm using the strips. Maybe the strips looks good as well. The black strips that I have it earlier. Alright, so my knife is come off. Where am I? Uh, can I get my... Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to watch your side too. Thank you. Maybe I do a solid one. Get it solid, one smaller one I just use my exacto knife to cut that it's fun today huh everyone like it feel like we did um, a lot of cute fun things we did like liquid and powder we did dipping before and then we did like all sort of different cool things and for all of you who get some sticker to play with, here is your fun video for you. So I'm gonna do another one, but a thinner. Thinner. And then what I do, and then is like thicker. Let's see how it turn out with me. Like that. You can see me just cut it just. Can I move this one? All done, thank you. Cut this. Cut this one as well. Just the extra whatever is left there. Using the other end. Okay, so. I am going to use this and other strips right there. Just like it right in the nose. And if you want this, doesn't matter. I get this flowers. Oh, talking about that, I want this. Should I put this on? There's the newest stunning charms for this. You let me know if you want to see it. If not, we're gonna using our flowers. Also, the nice like re remember it. I almost put this cute cherries on. Whatever flower cherries that they call. Um, let me see, you want to see this one on the top? 
Thank you. It looks not bad, huh? Oh no. I just want it perfectly done. I'm playing Luna. It doesn't have blue gels, that's why I keep running off. Top? Ah, uh, the bottom. Let me see if anyone's help me out. Oh my god, Michelle. Top? Yes, okay, top. Dead charms, okay, top. But look at this. I really like that one. Ooh, you know what? It's really cool. If you're doing like this, if you're redoing this, I think it's gonna be stunning like this. You can do your Louis a little bit off on the sides and put this one in the center. It looks like um, shadows. It looks like shadows of your um, cool designs. I really like that. And it's perfect size. Like you can move it a little bit. It looks like a shadow is here. That's cool though. Yes, Foxy, thank you. Put that as the 3D. But it's gonna be off size a little bit. I should do that. But do you see what I mean? It's so cool though. Darn it, I miss it. See? Miss that. Next time. Top. Okay. Next time, I promise. Or maybe next nails. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need next time we'll do next nails okay great so let's do some crystal placements and charms i actually charms placements and then some cool fun uh, all right so condensed blue gels it's really thick density it's not going anywhere but stay in this part until we finish um i'm really enjoying it tonight with everyone's because um we have a lot of requests for is doing a lot of designs for fun stickers is not like simple stickers like it used to be long time when i was starting with the careers like with nails business it's nothing is so plain and the thicker it looks like um how do i say it's really thick it's really really thick like you can't do it like probably you have to like really punch it down you know um But then nowadays, like so much better. Do you want to see this one in matte? Who was asking for matte top coat uh, earlier? If I miss you. What if it's again, I close out the live video by accident. You just join in. Yeah. No. Okay. Matte top coat. Can I do matte top coat, everyone? You want to see matte top coat? Try it. I'm going to do matte, okay? Try it. Haha, <laughs> no, let's her do another nails. Zmin, Debbie. I will do it for you, ladies. I do not mind at all. You give me some food. I can stream whole day with you. From like nails, sticker to chant for foy. What did I do with this nail? It looks like it's gonna falling apart. Um, really interesting. This must be this. This must be like that. It's going the other way. 
some crystal on it. Here's the other one. It should be the other one. On the other side. You say, wait a minute, it doesn't look like right. Haha, I got it. Ta da! Right now, some crystal. Don't worry, it's just in case my live video is out, you're gonna come right back with me. I'm gonna sit here waiting for everyone's. Okay, I'm gonna move this one just a little bit. That's it. You should want this one to be pointed. You don't have to, I'll just be silly and put that in there. Okay, make sure that I am on the screen with all of you. If not, I'm gonna move it right away. Can you Instagram see it? Okay, make sure sometimes my hands move too much when you are reading my message. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you, super cute ring nails. Hold on, I moved something back here. Do I need? Maybe I shouldn't do anything else because I might start covering the whole entire the Louis design. And you're gonna tell me, no, no, I don't do that. Just leave it alone. So I'm leaving it alone now. Maybe right there. I wanna get that top. Crystal on that. Maybe a. Let me see if I can find a black one. So in this case, if you want to put some crystal on this, I'm gonna do that. Can you take that off, please? Sure. Drop that using my Precision's uh, glue gel. I love this one. And let me see. I don't know, you like it? If not, then you can change any colors when you're doing it, okay? I just put a black one on it. All right, so I'm here. I even can do a black one on this one too. It looks so stunning. But I put the uh, Crystal's AV on it. So I'm gonna cure this for 60 seconds. All right, 60 seconds for that nails. Zoe, you love the Louise. I know it's cute. It's just like um, fun to art to designs on that. All right, so we have a last nails. We, what color of fusionings you want to see? This is a tutorial today. This is gonna support like all every all of uh, nail techs who have like one or two fusioning, uh, or like some sticker. You don't have shampoo foil gels. 
you can do some sticker but also uh, there's so many options and so many cute design you can create it with your fusion ink and even with one colors you can absolutely rock it with no problems at all all right i'm waiting for everyone to give me the last nails all right so let me see what i did at its honesty which is this nails all right and i did calming next one is number two and that's the nails that next is the chanel's right there and delight this one is just a chant for four this one i using that just in case earlier this is just i'm showing number 31 chant for four collections and i using that designs on this nails with 40 gels and this one we did with our um delight was it delight the delights right here and I using a matte top coat with that so it's matte top coat finish so you can see it's not shiny it's just like a matte sway look so I'm going to it here is the tip and tricks for all of you who are using um, precision glue uh, matte top coat to apply the crystal placements and we're gonna still using our precision glue to make sure is seal of cracks and gap between crystals charm chains if you feel any and then don't worry this is gonna look shiny when it finish but i will show you how you can do that and then get back to the matte look all right i'm gonna clear this for 60 seconds this is some detail for all of you so then you don't have to worry about oh my god i can't get this done because I'm using a matte top coat. Yes, you can absolutely doing with fusioning with matte top coat, crystal placement with matte top coat, pretty much everything. It's just like alternative. Some clients like shiny finish, some clients like to be like a matte finish. So it depends on the client's preference. And I make sure if you're using a matte top coat and they're like, oh, why am I matte top coat turning is shiny? It's not because it's a natural oil. If they're touching the nails, you basically you just need to wash their hand with soap and water. It's going to be go back to matte right away. Or on like alcohol and wipe it off and it's getting a matte finish right away. And we still have, okay, Passionate. We did three colors already. So we have Passionate, which is this one's a uh, uh, welcome hugs. Thinking green, we did it probably yesterday. Did we do it yesterday? I think in Thinking Green, we did it yesterday. And then this is a similar what the feeling blue is a little bit more a pigmented, a darker than the others. And I have a lot of them, like another something. Uh, Majestics, purple, Bordeaux, and... burning heart do you know what I want to do is obsidian but you tell me obsidian it looks good Give me some drink. oh this one is so gorgeous done if you feel any of this like residues in the clear and you only need to do is to get some of your matte top coat and go around with the crystals using a twin tip brush, slide brush. You can able to <coughs> drink. Okay, so let me show you this. Okay, so the white, we're probably gonna do another one. We did the whites for the last video on Saturday, Debbie and Maya. We can do purple because this one I have a na white nails. Oh, okay, Debbie, thank you. I thought you said the white and the purple, but because I have a white face. All right, so we are going to do purple. 
obsidian is getting my eyes too. It's so much fun. Okay, in the meantime, when I'm doing this, you ladies think about what designs we're going to get, okay? What do you want to do? Um, maybe Gucci's on it. Mm -hmm. on that. So, okay, I am going to do in... This one is so cool. It makes me nervous because, you know, it's so pretty and it's so pigmented. It's so, oh my God, you can't never mess this one up. We whisper like no one can hear us. <laughs> okay. So you can do one, two, or three. It doesn't matter how many times you tap it on. The darker you want, the more it's like um, layers you want to put it on. But I did three or four. Tap it again. You can see that I didn't even have to pick it back up on from the bottle. So one bottle of this go a long time. And you can done so many clients. So many set of nails and it still really is um, last long for you. All right, so I am going to using a crystal clear and you can start seeing it from really like shiny. It start getting dry and it's vibrating and it's dry. And so now I can using that spoon. So can you chop the nail? All right, that's color foxy, I know, right? So crystal clear again. I'm gonna go into using is from the outside into inside. And I got tomorrow I will try to go live a little bit earlier. I'm expected to do maybe a six o'clock of the Santo Standard Times. Because I have a boot camp still online going on. So I'll do it earlier and then um, Sarah will go right live right after. So please stay tuned with us and tuning in for fun live videos. What do you want to see tomorrow? We can do like. Maya will mention she want to see some 3D um, acrylic. Alright, so here is something for you because I think it's great that it's happened to me. It looks fine. But I think I'm using a little bit of more of crystal clear than I expecting. So I'm gonna make sure my brush is gonna be gone, like most of my uh, crystal clear is gonna be gone. Okay. So I use less crystal clears now. You can start seeing it's not bleeding on me, right? I'm so glad it happened because it's happened to me it's like sometime as well. And I don't mind it at all because then I can control it right away by wipe up my brush and start picking it like a less uh, fusion ink of crystal clear. Right. Wipe off my brush. I don't know. I'm gonna show you right here because you see that how I clean my brush. So clean it first before you place them back in, uh, place it back into the crystal clear bottle because you don't want, it's kind of contaminating on that crystal clears. When you're using other color, for instance, if you're using like pink or yellows, you don't want your yellows to be turning to different colors. So. I 
it looks good with white tennis white. Light it up. This is for anyone who has had only one color, two color, a fusion mini to flavor it. That is for you. I have so much fun to playing with one colors only. And if you want your to be lighter, work a little bit more with the crystal clear and get your um, look a little bit lighter. There you go, until you're happy with this. And then we're gonna put some stickers on it, some crystals. Great. Like even the vent just looks good. You don't have to create anything, you can't. And then you see that how much I wipe it off here. So then that way, when I place the brush back in, it will not contaminating the colors in there. You see that I did all different colors behind the scene here. Okay, so let's do some stickers. This is for any of you again, if you're just tuning in, welcome. Uh, I just want to show you it's fun. Uh, what about this one, designs? Should I do this one? Um, should I do silver now? Silver or white? Let me do some silver, you think? Mm -hmm. Silver looks good. Do you want silver look? Oh, this baby's background is so strong. Oh, I have a big, cute one. Look at that. Ha ha. Alright, so let me do this. Big one. But before that, I'm gonna let her stay on the side for a minute. I am going to using super cute. Let me let me cut that. I'm gonna cut that. Oh, my is too nice. <coughs> yes, please. You can cut, I like the solid one, so I'm gonna try to cut this solid part right there. Okay, so some tip and tricks, you know, I have you all here. It's really cool, Jackson knife. You can, the knife that you can get it from maybe Walmart, Target. And for a few dollars, it's really cool because sometimes I will share with you how to do color blocking with liquid and powder as well. And it's really handy. You can cut anything with the uh, nail art stuff, like especially stickers. You want one of this there. I might do this one version right there. My logo is not gonna fit in there, but maybe that one. Say the way. There you go. And then we can place her right there. And put my strips over there. Oh, I know what to do. Sorry, just be silly. <laughs> okay. 
and this one glow in the dark and if you like have a clients get it done and they get to go to clubs and places they're gonna have so much fun with this because it's gonna glow all right let's see this one you can to trim off this side it's really cute it's fun because the background of this so much going on I'm gonna take that one away because it's gonna get in our background and let's see what else we can do and I want to using the white strips that I have um, you grab me the white one and the black one. Thank you. And maybe smaller size will look so much better. Alright. I just a little bit more um, meticulous with all different cool stunning design. Uh, 20 seconds left. I will see you ladies right back, okay? We want to end that video. Please put me here. Hello, if anyone of you watching, we're waiting for Instagram to come right back, but I still want to show you all. Let's see what we having there. Maybe the heart. and make sure you get this tweezers lock close the um, tips of it so you won't poke this out and then you don't drop it accidentally it's <coughs> excuse me it's will ruin your uh, tweezers that's what we want to really shop looks for to pick up all that stickers and anything that you can use all right so now we are gonna do is condensed glue gels and no wipe top coat so this will help to hold all the charm chains and crystal in one place Hi ladies, hello everyone. 
Thanks so much for tuning back in. Today's gonna have a little bit longer live tutorial as usual on ways. It's great about uh, today's, this is the tutorials for all of you who just have fusionings and stickers, crystal placement. If you haven't get any channel before, and you would like to watch some of the episode on channel four, you can always watch it on our IGTV. But if you haven't seen the, something that you want to see in that episode, let us know. So we can definitely gonna do tutorial for that request. Uh, hello, all Instagram highlight vast. Hello, hello, Nays. Hello, Mr. Um, Dixar, Shoe Beauty Queen, Hi, Icy, Jacqueline. Giselle, hello, BBG. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm gonna continue doing my uh, cute nails and uh, purple magnetic uh, fusioning. And we did part of it. I'm using both of this stunning, cute uh, glow in the dark uh, stickers right here in front of me. It's really cool. I'm so obsessed with them. <coughs> Kiss me, puts on them on the sides. There are lots of, we did several different ones from like just periods like an hour ago with all different like different ones. So if you miss it, don't worry. You can always be watching them from our IGTV. This video will go into our IGTV. And then I am using is condensed wool gel right now. I'm about to apply that the cute charm there. I kind of love the background and in the back. You can do half neck like, and one third and then just skip in the middle to put the stuff on it. Absolutely, totally fine. However you would like. And no wipe top coat on the top. There's no wipe top coat in condensed wool gel will help grab the crystal in one place. And it will help keep the crystal stay nice. You and your clients can be in your seat back and ensure it's gonna look not only it's pretty, but also it's last so long. Uh, I don't know what other crystal you want to see. The colors be besides just um, A, B. Hold on. I'm going to lay this one in the last. And I am going to give it some cute looks. And this heart right there. So good. Here you go. And so we got Today something is like the contents we're doing is so simple so everybody can really enjoy it. Um, Instagram thanks so much for tuning right back in if you missed the part earlier don't worry you can be watching them from our IGTV and let me know if you want to see something tomorrow I am going to apply the, um, we still have a lot of questions that how we place the crystal placement on if you are um, beginners and you're curious about, you know, how to achieve really nice look as long as you place your crystals really close and tight together, it usually give you a really nice look when you finish. Um, Great. 
So if I'm happy with this look, I just want a simple because I didn't want to get it in taking away from the fuchsia nings underneath because it's absolutely, it's just really like a lot of going on there. Look at her. I'm so sassy. Okay, if you like it, we're going to kill this one for 60 seconds. Hmm. You, if you don't want a bigger one, there are smaller one. All right. Put in the lamp for about 60 seconds. That is strong backgrounds, and I love that. Thanks so much, Jenny. I'm so glad you like it. This is for all of you, and we wouldn't be here without every single one of you. So this is an absolutely tutorial for every single one of you. It's not a showcase, actually, it's a tutorial. Um, we can all learn from each other and sharing it. And if you know your friends, I would love to learn something is cool every single day. They can absolutely tune into our live tutorials every day to learn something. Even if you can't follow us for throughout a whole entire hour, you can even watching a small part of it. Um, and hope you're really enjoying it. So every day we're doing a different content. So let me know if tomorrow you want to see something. I'm going to read your comments in a second right now. Hey, Bonita, thank you, love. I will appreciate you all, you know, without every single of you. Um, because every single of you made glitz. So this is for all for you. The platform for all of you. Thanks so much for the love and the support. Uh, it mean the world to us. Is the... You all are ours, like inspirations, energies, and motivations for us to see like what we can do the best for our, you know, industries, for our nail technicians, who's from beginner to like a veterans, like or if you're being, being a uh, doing it nail, nail professional for a long time, and then there's something new every day that you would like to learn, and then also we'll learn so much from all of you as well. So we really thanks to you. Uh, my preseason glue. I'm really enjoying it every time. It's actually just really cool and therapy for me because it's just me. Like, I feel like I am myself. So, and I'm learning every day as well. So, I'm going to squeeze just a little bit when I feel like a gap between the crystal. But if you don't feel anything, don't need to squeeze it out. Like, right here, I feel the sketch, you know, sketchy right here because of the curve of the nails, the structure of the nails. If you're building the client's nails, uh, you're gonna make sure you're gonna seal them all. So then the clients and you feel so much better and it feels so secure when you are um, seal them all. So they won't have to worry about catching on their hair and you and your clients can feel so good, you know, sit back and ensure that they're gonna stay not coming off for the next few weeks. I have clients going like six to ten a week. If you want to see the pictures, I can show it to you. The clients actually took it themselves and sent it to me. So I'm using a twin tip brush right now. Blend all of my extra precision glue. And so then after you cure it under LED light, it doesn't look like really lumpy, bumpy, and it looks really nice and flawless. So we're going to cure it for, um, 60 seconds. No video. Oh, damn. Oh. All right, so we are keying that one for is um, light bar to go over the matte nails. I did. Yes. Right here. I did go over it. Foxy, you did amazing. I'm so proud of you. You know, it's in the industries, any industries, I think. Here's just my personal, like, thing. You know, no offense, no nothing. It's just my personal things. Like, it doesn't matter. You are new or you are veterans. As long as you keep um, continue education, learning, you know, is um, you always win. If you are the nail tech for 20 years, be honest, and you don't want to learn anything, and you wonder why 
your soul behinds and a lot of nail tech will be in your years and learn so much so just the facts i'm talking about just the, the facts like truths you know so it doesn't matter it's just the fact that you're tuning in you learn something every day it means you take your career your business to the next level and they're really enjoying what you're doing because if we hate what we're doing, we're never going to like produce really good like results. So, all right, all my love. Here's your beautiful one, two, three, four, five, six. It's still not beat. Sometimes we did 10 nails. No, eight nails. I'm sorry if I'm saying it. Eight nails. I created a lot of fun look. And this is truly is special for any of you who now take newbies out there that only have several different colors of any collections hey do not feel like you are not have enough it's just not about like having a lot of things it's just how that you do the best of what you have in your hand like if you have one color of fusioning how you can really rock that and pull that off just one colors and then you really enjoying your master it and then you're gonna look into the next one that's how one of the best is um, also is one of the best of um, advice for a lot of newbies um, we have a lot of questions as well we do have a DM from you know like salon owner new technicians and a lot of you overwhelming we really love your love your support really thanks to you and a lot of you like will ask you know what how can they pull it off with just one product or several products because they don't have a lot of collection it's not about that it's just it's not about like you have to have everything it's just like how you start and how you get the best the one product to make the best of your ability um like look at if you have one colors like for instance if you have one color of honesty if me i would do is one color of honesty i would change the colors of the um, background of course white background will give the best but then also I don't want to go with the darker colors on this I will pick it like white light pink uh, purple um, even you can do yellows um, anything colors will contrast with this you can pull that off really well you can even put the white color or any solid colors like a pink light pink pink blush and then you can just put if you have chromes on it if you don't have chromes no problem if you have chromes you can put chromes on it and then using that color too so it's give you all different effects as you chose the color on on, you know, on the background so <laughs> debbie you spent four hundred dollars this year the one i have a lot of questions i have a lot of people with saying it but um we it's so funny is i always telling my students and uh, a lot of uh nail takes and salon owners that come into the church shows and the classes and said we don't take the money like we're actually we're showing you and teaching you to make more money to work smarter uh, that's why we're here every single day to share with you you are not by yourself it's just like we really like important and grateful to have all of you support for the business we're doing business but we doing it with the passions so the passions that is always existing in there because or else it's gonna kill me when i'm doing live videos i can i told you i can see here in streams all day long it's just seeing all of you or even seeing even one of you or two of you or even like not even for a whole month or for a whole year but it will be for someone who's seeing a video and learn something new techniques every day and take this please take this one or two techniques you take it back to the business and make it the massive of it and feel proud of yourself as you we are always proud of you that you are taking it to the next level so like for instance if someone with some clients that come in, they get this. Besides just put the sticker on plain nails, you can create so many different cool ways. Not only to take your skills to the next level, also really interesting that the clients that are looking for a lot of places can do something that you do really unique that no one else can. Like at least in your area, in your city, you know? But if you do have some people, great. It means that your city have a lot of people who are really, really, um, go-getters learning 
uh, willing to learn something new to just make even the whole series even better and a more option for clients to do. So like for instance, if you just put few stickers on and you can only like service the clients and you charge them at $5. If you create your fusionings underneath and some crystals on, you can get this now at $15 instead of $5. And the much a period of time, it doesn't take much more than that as you are master it which is buying few time of you practicing and you already have the skill in there because you get trained to be like really a professional. So when you get practice few time, look at you master this and you do some of the nails like this at your salon, at your suite, show the clients, they can see like, oh my God, I like this. So we consult the clients a lot like that way so then they can see an idea of what we can do. Um, so that's why we really like, um, how do I say consult them without them uh, feeling or if without you to heritage that oh my god it's too much they're not gonna doing it I promise with you when you're sharing with all different like if you want to do fusioning only it's gonna be seven dollars if you want to do your stickers and your crystals all on the nails it's gonna be fifteen dollars so they know that how you break through all different process and the different steps that will help really um, help the clients and educated clients understand more also is really like generates extra income for you as it's the clients that you provide the services thank you so much so good bling nails i really appreciate every single of you every single day we feel really grateful and um we can't be here without you so please feel really confident about yourself because you are a crystals and each of you are ident like it can't be identical so each of you are unique so if you take every single of this like say i sharing this but i got to see so many beautiful work from every single of you because you seeing that amazing you created it makes so much like happy you know for us because to seeing every single view it just like have a inspire we inspire a lot from all of you and also you know we are so happy to get to bring it to you we can all share and learn from each other's so sometimes if you create this look can be completely look and even so much better um I might have to pull it out the post that with the team posting it. It's like someone will say, it's how did I do one of the live tutorial after we're done with painting the butterflies, like a black butterflies cute with precision brush gels. And then we did some um, uh, sugar rings, like sugar in it. I think it's sugar effects on it. And is it was a black and white theme. Who did that? I, I don't remember. Is any of you is remember? It's really cool. And um, how do I go that? Debbie watching one of my episodes. Uh, it said um, it said gel painting, either gel painting or going under a uh, glitter sugar. It's really cool though. You can um, you can uh. Seeing all the anti the tutorials I did with precision brush and uh, glitter, so it create the really cool looks of butterflies. It's so simple and easy, Debbie. I promise. And um, So if I ever go get my nails done with Nancy, it's going to be one color gel and like one crystal and maybe one beat on one nails. No, you don't have to. You can wait until the month that will have special promotion. We do that because we want to give back to the clients. We want to appreciate every single of them. So like every once in a while, we're doing like every two months, we're running promotions like a free nail art. So it depends on the services. You not get all her entire nails spring, but if you're a client, you make appointment, and then you will get your depend depend on the price range of you spend. 
Like say if you have a long set of nails with $75, you can able to get um, two super cute crystal nails up to $30. You see what I mean? So you don't have to get one bead. <laughs> You don't have to get one colors. I swear with you live bash. You just need to wait until the right time So just be like I just told all the clients just be smart like um, uh, Be smart shopper, right? So they wait until the time that we sent all the flash like a blast email to all the clients for appreciation So they can come and get their nails done and they can get their uh, Doesn't have to be crystal. It can be chamfer foil with crystal Incorporates or they can do a fusion ink. It's something like that, but you can only get two nails You can get all ten nails, but you can get two nails and anything else you want you can pay a child on it But if you don't want to get all like bling up, you can get two nails So you, you, I'm promise you you don't have to get one colors and one beats on one nails <laughs> Your birthday in September is coming live rest Thank you so much, everyone. I really enjoying it tonight. Well, as every night, every night I have a different content, different topic to talk about. And I'm so happy and I'm really grateful for every single of you to tuning in every single night for the past so many months. And to join with me, to supporting me, you know, and support whole entire teams. It means the world to us. Um, that's why it gives us a lot of motivations and a lot of, um, you know, inspired for us to keep going. And we promise to bring the best, you know, of the best to every single of you. Is really want to make you proud. You are the nail technician. So, because you get a best, you know, tools, the best products in hand. So then you can really feel confidence when you uh, provide the services for the clients and you prop yourself because you are a great nail technician and you are way ahead of the game. So thank you so much for be, let me being a part of your journeys and I'm so happy that I wish on one of these days I can meet you all in person. Uh, we are like getting a plans for our next year trip show. So hope everything back to a regular routine and schedule. So then we can start getting our classes back again so i can have opportunity to see every single of you in the futures with the hands-on and we are so excited with the classes coming up and um, it's great to able to be like on your size and like assist you and support you with anything you need so but you only see me every night and I'll accept Sunday, but Sarah's will be in live on sometime on Sunday. And then also um, tomorrow I am going to do live a little bit earlier. So then Sarah going live right after. So we're going to have a really cool content. Let me know what you want to see tomorrow. I might miss it. So if I miss it, can someone tell me? Because I think it was maybe you were telling me, but I was in the um, session of doing that nails. Uh, super cute bling nails. Uh, Yes, so super cute bling nails. Absolutely, we do have of, I think it was a mention with the team with doing classes in Florida. Thank you, Foxy. I know, CC, be, please be safe. Um, I wish I could go, but I can't leave New York, but be safe. I'm here to share whatever you want every single night so anything you have question let us know um acrylic tomorrow some ombre acrylic tomorrow encapsulating acrylic tomorrow we can do something like that oh definitely live us it's gonna be awesome in september foxy you let me know live us keep me posted love um foxy you are from australia right Maya, Maya is awesome. Maya, is it? Let us know where is that next to you guys because we're going to different states. Just this year that we didn't doing a trip show, but a lot of uh, years that women go into trip show to different states, so then we can able to support a lot of nail technicians. Super cute bling nails. Let's see how much. Will you charge us to get your nails done? 
That is awesome questions. You gotta let me know, but send me the picture. Of what? But then, are you coming? If are you coming, you let me know. It's definitely gonna have a really, really amazing special, special for guests. VIP. It depends on what you would like, and the different designs. Thank you so much, Wanda. I absolutely love your beautiful works, Wanda. It's just amazing. Every single of you did amazing work. We're seeing like, wow, well done. I really, I am really, really proud of every single of you. It's just like great. I can't wait for our next like um, contest coming for 50,000 followers contest. It's gonna be contest. So let us know with the feedback, like we say, Okay, do you want to um, do your contact? Because we take all the feedbacks, we take it, and then we make it happen. Like for instance, if next contest you want to see like, okay, it's narrowed down hours like um, contents. For instance, if you want to do like a theme of summer theme, fall themes, or if you want to see like and anything, suggest, suggest is really welcome. So then that way, if you don't say anything, then we'll make a decision of which gonna be in the content. But all of you will get a really good ideas for us and we can able to put it together for you. Yes, can your next convention be impressed on acrylic or gels on nails? Oh, that will be cool. Okay, so we'll take that as uh, one of the suggestions for, uh, for Maya. See you tomorrow, CC. Good night. Be safe, love. Really be safe and take good care of yourself and your family. We're thinking of you and then all people in you. I love New York. Um, I don't know if this year they're going to do a fashion week in New York again in September. As every year I go to support my mentors, Patty. And she's had her own line of polish and doing all celebrities and... Um, all that uh, fashion so wiki New York but then I think I don't know if they might not able to make it happen this year because with that so really sad but we went to February's with the uh, fashion week in February right before is pandemics happen so I love it good night everyone please be safe I love you all I would definitely gonna see you tomorrow bye bye